One day, a physics professor stood before a room full of eager students. He posed a seemingly simple question, what if you could ride a beam of light? It was a question that would linger in the mind of a young genius, setting him on a path of exploration that would forever alter the fabric of reality. Welcome to Rapid Rewinds. Today we will take you through the journey of a young boy lost in daydreams to an icon whose equations govern the cosmos. It is the story of the great Albert Einstein. If you are ready to dive into this extraordinary journey stay with us until the end of this video, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Born in 1879 in the picturesque city of Ulm, Germany, Einstein was a child of wonder. His early years were marked by a rebellious spirit that clashed with traditional schooling, a sign of the unconventional path he was destined to tread. The educational journey of Albert commenced at the age of five when he joined a Catholic elementary school in Munich. However, at the age of eight, a pivotal shift occurred as he transitioned to the Leupold Gymnasium, later known as the Albert Einstein Gymnasium. This change marked a significant step towards his advanced primary and secondary education. By the age of 12, Albert's pursuit of knowledge took on an astonishing trajectory. He embarked on a journey of self-teaching, immersing himself in the depths of algebra, calculus, and Euclidean geometry. His passion for learning fueled his rapid progress, culminating in an astounding achievement. He devised an original proof of the Pythagorean theorem before even reaching his 13th birthday. At 13, a kaleidoscope of interests began to color Albert's world. Beyond academics, his enthusiasm embraced the realms of music and philosophy. It was during this transformative phase that he encountered a monumental work, Kant's Critique of Pure Reason. This encounter was transformative, as Kant's philosophies resonated deeply with Albert, firmly establishing him as his favorite philosopher. Captivated by the allure of science and the intricacies of mathematics, Einstein found himself drawn to the Swiss Federal Polytechnic in Zurich. Here, he not only nurtured his intellectual passions but also cultivated profound connections with fellow minds. In 1903, Einstein entered into matrimony with Mileva Marek, a kindred spirit he had met during their time as students at the Swiss Federal Polytechnic. Their union was a blend of personal happiness and intellectual companionship. They had two sons, Hans Albert and Eduard, but the demands of Einstein's burgeoning scientific pursuits and the complexities of marriage ultimately led to their divorce in 1919. Through thought experiments that danced on the edge of reality, Einstein laid the groundwork for his revolutionary theories. His theory of relativity shattered conventional notions of time and space, inviting us to question the very fabric of reality itself. Even while working as a patent clerk, Einstein's mind never rested. In his Miracle Year of 1905, he published four groundbreaking papers that would change the course of physics forever. It was here that the seeds of E equals mc squared were sown, unlocking the potential of nuclear energy. Before moving on to the next segment of his life make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any new video. As the world plunged into the chaos of World War I, Einstein's pacifist convictions clashed with the tumultuous times. He spoke out against nationalism and militarism, becoming a voice for reason and humanity. We are concerned here with, a, with an act of humanity, with the maintaining of cultural values, and not least with a measure of considerable political importance. The effect upon all nations, and not least upon the Germans, of the fate of these innocent people, so mal maliciously persecuted, must not be underestimated. To leave
these victims to their misery would be a heavy blow to all those who believe in human solidarity and would encourage those who believe only in force and oppression and who act accordingly. Einstein's journey was never a solitary one. He collaborated with luminaries like Niels Bohr, engaging in impassioned debates that pushed the boundaries of our understanding. Their dialogues laid the foundation for quantum mechanics, the branch of science that unravels the mysteries of the infinitesimally small. Behind the iconic image of Einstein with his wild hair lay a man of whimsy and a playful sense of humor. But his passions were not confined to the laboratory. As he aged, Einstein's convictions evolved, propelling him to become an advocate for civil rights, a voice for peace, and an ardent supporter of Zionism. On April 18, 1955, the world bid farewell to one of its most brilliant minds. The man whose revolutionary ideas reshaped the landscape of modern physics, and forever altered our understanding of the universe took his final breath at the age of 76. The news of Einstein's passing was met with a wave of mourning that transcended borders and cultures. Eulogies poured in from scientists, world leaders, and ordinary people whose lives had been touched by his ideas and ideals. Albert Einstein's legacy continues to resonate in the annals of history. His theories remain foundational to modern physics, his ideas continue to inspire generations of scientists, and his humanitarian pursuits remind us of the importance of using our intellect for the betterment of humanity. Einstein once said, imagination is more important than knowledge. For knowledge is limited, whereas imagination embraces the entire world, stimulating progress, giving birth to evolution. Thank you for joining us on this voyage through history. Remember to subscribe to our channel, as we're committed to sharing more captivating tales of remarkable lives.